that when we were developing the store or working on the store, we, we, we went to uh, like at least 10, 12 different stores across the country, tried to pick up ideas. We talked to our, uh, our customers, asked them uh, what they wanted and uh, our employees also. And so we, we put together what we feel is a, is a pretty good design. Some of the things that kind of make us a little unique, uh, we have 72 skylights in, our, in, the, in the store. We wanted to get a feel of the outside, inside as much as we could. In Ohio, we don't get that much sun to start with. So we like to, we like to see it when we can get it. Uh, and then the lights are, are on, on a uh, harvesting system where as it's brighter gets outside, it'll start shedding some of the lights for efficiency reasons. The signage in the store, if you notice the different, the walls, the different departments are all different colors. We tried to, uh, we did a lot of the research or research and duplicate kind of thing that they talk about. Dick Sporting Goods does that. They do the different colors. We picked that up from them. Uh, and so then we have the graphics for the apartments in each one, but we can tell someone, you know, go, if they want to find electrical, go back to the blue uh, walls. It's back there. Uh, so it's helpful. We have six entrances in our, in our uh, building here. One of the things our, our customer asked for was the convenience of not having to come in one place and go out another, the box store mentality. So we have four entrances in the front here and then two more downstairs in the lumber area. So it's, we're trying to be very convenient to the customer. I want to show you uh, the Harbor Livestock Auction that my grandfather started back in 1939. Th this was actually the full sign or a painting of it, uh, of that, you know, the livestock auction sale every Monday. And that's a piece of that is what you see up over our livestock or over our uh, uh, feed area back here. So just to kind of give you an idea of where that, how that all fit into the, to the uh, livestock auction. Um, another thing that over here in, in the lawn and garden area, you'll see that we have the garage doors on this side that are closed. During this time of the year, we closed it up on this side and opened up on the outside. But the, the growing season or the greenhouse is, is really hard to get productive for more than four or five months. So the, the, we will be closing the outside glass doors, opening the inside ones, making that more part of this whole store here. The log cabin that's, that you see over here, the first Amish bishop that in our area lived in that house. It was built in 19, 1860. Now he didn't live into it until 1908. That's when the Amish moved into this area. Uh, but when his grandson decided to tear it down, he asked us if we would have any place to put it. We decided to put it in here. We, we have a, a library of books, uh, CDs and things in there right now. I was at the IX Center actually at a home and garden show. And uh, I saw people standing in line uh, to go through the houses, the model houses they had there. And it hit me that that's what we need to do in our new store, is have, have something like that that draws people. We decided on actually three, three important aspects that we wanted to, uh, this house to showcase. Number one was the ideas uh, and innovation. We wanted it to be a place of, for ideas. Uh, number two, we wanted to do in-stock products, products that you can find in this house. It, the floor, for instance, in here, you can find on the shelf today and take it home with you. And that's true for, through, as you go through the house, we have stock products. And then uh, the third was the, uh, to see if we could build a house that was all American. We set out to do this not knowing if it could be done. I'm here to tell you it can be done. You can build an all-American house, all-American made product house. We're trying to make it be something that a person can, can uh, visualize the product that we're selling here, a stock kind of place. And uh, it's, it's, been a, there's been a, it's been accepted very well by the people who come here. People walk in the front door and they'll say, Where's this house that's in here? You know, that's kind of the draw, it seems, is to come see this house. So it's been great for us. We, we uh, went to Master Brands uh, for our line of cabinetry. They, they have you know, several different lines, Omega, Aristocraft, uh, Contractor's Choice. Uh, and they, they have this new concept that they call mannequins, where you can change the paint color. Uh, there's several different uh, paint colors here. You can change the countertops. You can change the trim. You can put together your kitchen right here. And then along with that, we have designed a lot of our, our stock flooring products uh, that you can put it right underneath here to kind of finish up the look. We're going to be doing the tile boards that'll fit in here. But you can set your whole kitchen, to, put your whole kitchen together here 
and get inspiration for, for how you want it to look. We're trying to make the design side of it easy for people. Several of our vendors really stepped up and helped us in this process. We, we went to all the vendors, that, all major vendors, and said, hey, we got a space. You come to us with ideas. You know, what, is the, what, what can you do? And, and several of them really did step up. And uh, Hillman is one of them. But they actually put our name in a lot of the displays and everything. But this, this is a, a thing that they, they came up with that I, I personally use quite often when I'm taking care of a customer because I don't know where everything is. But you can, you can uh, if you want to screw, sheet metal, self-drilling, it'll tell you right where to go. 3G. So it, it's very convenient for the customer as they get to the, used to using it and even for us as employees to find products on here. So this is kind of a cool thing they did. Our lower level, we've kind of designed to make somewhat of a contractor entrance. It's convenient, you know, our challenge here was, was destination as well as convenience for our guys to come in five times a week. So if you come in down here, uh, we're open at seven in the morning and again, self-serve upstairs. But if you go up the steps there, we're right in the middle of paint, plumbing, electrical, all the things a contractor needs on a daily basis. We're trying to promote this drive-through as quick and easy for our customers. You know, we say, right, saying driver walk in, load your vehicle, we'll help you with the heavy stuff, and then pay as you leave. And so far, we're getting good response. So the guys are kind of using this as a loading area. Uh, we have staff to assist with some questions, um, but if they need serious technical questions, they're going to need to go inside and see with the salespeople. Um, but so far, it's worked out pretty well. It's three lanes wide, as you see. So there's there's a really a drive lane and two lanes on the side to pull through. So, so far it's working, it's working really well for us. The tool area is a big part of our business and uh, we went to the vendors, actually Bosch came to us like a year ago at the old store already and, and, and wanted to set up a store within a store uh, with their products, with all the accessories and everything along with the product. Uh, in the past we'd always had them separated, accessories separate from the power tools. So we did that and we saw a, a, a big spike in in our sales for accessories and including it didn't really seem to bother the accessories that were kept other places so uh, we were kind of believers in this idea of a store within a store so we gave each one of these companies an area to kind of lay out on their own do their own their own thing and John Deere uh, came on with us by I think 1988 and we've become one of the biggest John Deere in the consumer line of their of their mowers. Uh, we, we are number one in 11 states and one of the biggest in the, in the country, I think. So this has been a great uh, addition to the hardware business. It seems like the quality name of John Deere and what they expect when they come to a hardware store is, is a good partnership. Uh, we have a, set up an area outside with AstroTurf and stuff so that it, it, it stays nice year round. And it has kind of the focus, the main focus of our, of our property here. I guess is the John Deere area, uh, and, and it does really well for us.